Okay. I need my guitar pick. Yeah. Pick save. Will you go it? Will you go it? She's already tired of my riffs. That's too bad. This is a shame. Too many shitty riffs in this room. Can't be helped, man. I think that left a mark. That was a little too hard. Ola, calm down, calm down. It's only Sunday with Ola, calm down. Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday with Ola 156. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing so well right now. Let me head straight into it. This new guitar, ha! A 1.7 FR Svart. It's a guitar with a Floyd Rose. It's fine. There's also a six string version. Great. Uh, I'm just taking care of business really fast. You you haven't been in Swola for a while, so I, I figured you would like to be in the Swola. You would want to be in the Swola. No, but I have to thank you guys. A lot of you guys reached out to me uh, after last week's Sunday with Fall where uh, I told you about my herniated disc and my sciatica nerve hurting and all that. A lot of people reached out to me and it, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. A lot of people wanted to offer me help and, you know, uh, tell me what stretches to do and, you know, tell me how to live my life. That's excellent and great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I think I have a really good plan and I'm seeing people uh, and, you know, I'm very active because the, the, the least thing you want to do when you have a problem with your back is that you stop moving. That's a big problem. So you should keep yourself active, but obviously you have to be a little bit careful. So I'm doing that. Don't worry about me, guys, but thank you so much for the concern. I have to talk a little bit about... I have to because that's my, uh, my living hood right there, but I have to talk about Chug Project Volume 2. I released a new, another, a third single from the project this past Friday. It's called Deku Smash. Hell, Mike, if you ever played Fortnite, you know exactly what this is about. If you haven't already, you can listen to the song on Spotify. It's also up on my YouTube channel. You know, this one that you're watching right now, you can go watch it after this, okay? So thank you so much. And you can pre-order the album and all of that from olanglandshop.com. Thank you for the support. All right, let's head into the news. Stop the presses. Gary Holt says that Metallica James Hetfield cheats at downpicking. What? In fact, everybody does. Uh, okay. Holt unveiled this revelation during a recent conversation with Anthrax, Scott Ian and Zach Wilde for Guitar World. At one point, the interview mentioned that all three axemen are masters of the downpicking technique. The act of repeatedly and nimbly strumming downward, you know, de -de 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 -de, which is crucial to shaping the lightning fast riff that defines thrash metal. However, the interviewer also references one of Holt's guitar instruction tutorials in which he supposedly admitted that he mixes in other non down picking notes. What? Is that even possible? Everybody cheats, Holt emphasized. Even Metallica's James Hat McHatfield cheats now. I've seen it enough times. If he's doing a savage down pick section and then he throws in a. <laughs> Moshe's descending slide, you know, uh, then that is there for a reason. It allows you to lose a couple of notes. Okay, it's okay to take a nice little breather while that's affirming Holt's assertion that the guitarist won't play the exact number of down picks that they recorded on a given song. So basically what he's saying is that most people out there, they cheat. 
It's become really hard for me after battling this chronic tennis elbow in both arms, Holt said, of his ability to down pick. Towards the end of Slayer, I was getting so many cortisone injections, I couldn't even count them in. It turns your tennis into mush. So, there you go. People get old, and the down picking suffers, man. Even James McHackfield. Uh, sheets. On a personal level, I've always been an advocate for using alternate picking. I do down pick a lot too, I must say, when playing live and all that. If you're gonna put out your manlyhood live, you know, you have to down pick. It's basically the same as showing your penis for people. A little, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> That's a terrible uh, comparison, actually. No, but you have to. You have to play down picking. Otherwise, the, the people in the audience go like, oh, what is he doing? Oh, stop that. Is that alternate? What the fuck is he doing? No, 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 Ola, Ola, Go back to school, back to school. No, but, uh, you know, you have to down pick a lot because it makes you look like you're actually putting a lot of effort into your guitar playing. If you down pick every note in a fresh song, like, D -d 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 look at that hand. But if you alternate, it's it looks like a, a limp little hand right there. But in all seriousness, I also alternate pick a lot, you know, just to save on my arm and my performance a little bit. That's okay. That doesn't make me less of a man, or does it? Die Artist Murder played their first show with a new vocalist. The rumors were true. Okay, this news has been kind of like in between the swole loss a little bit, but I think last Friday or something, uh, Die Artist Murder fired Mac Mahon and revealed that they removed his vocals from their new album, Godlike. They have a new guy called Tyler Miller of Aversion Crown. There's a bunch of drama behind this that uh, I, I just don't care for, I guess. In regards to the CJ McMahon uh, comments and, uh, you know, all of that whole debacle thing, uh, he basically said something anti-trans or whatever it was, and then he made an apology, uh, a forced apology, it went to shit. And now, he, you know, he got fired, basically. And then Ronnie Radke steps in and makes a tweet. It's time to stand the frat up and boycott this shit. Boycott. What the hell is this sentence? It's time to stand the fuck up and boycott this shit. Boy. Okay, there's supposed to be a, a, a punctuation right there. Boycott thy artist murder. I will send $20,000 to CJ right now. Tired of these spineless cowards bending to the shit, ruining people's lives. Fuck you. I just want to say, it's great that I don't necessarily always have to go to TMC to find drama. It's nice to have in our world as well. Holy shit, I'm not gonna go into this. This is, this is terrible. Anyways, Rex Brown reveals how he and Phil and Selmo started talking about doing the Pantera Celebration shows. It all started with a remix and remaster job. So, uh, half Terra... <laughs> oh. Will I get cancelled for that? No, but uh, basically, uh, Rex, Charlie, and Sackwell went to an interview with uh, Rick Beato the other day. Rex is saying, Phil and I were putting that out after 20 year anniversary and we got Terry, uh, Terry Day to remix it and remaster And that was where we had these conversations about what we wanted things to sound like and the start of the legacy. Where do we want to take this and play it live again? Can we do it? Do you want to take that freaking step? And by God, we did! Uh, it's a great set of <laughs> satisfaction, but then again, you're only as good as your last show. Uh, that was gonna be the big motto of the band. You're only as good as your last freaking note. This interview is incredible, and even though, you know, fine, this is cool and all. <clears throat> I mean, I'm just incredibly happy that I'm actually mentioned uh, by Zach Wilde again. No, and all, all our listen to this. In an a or what, he'd go, no, I'm gonna go here because it's... They're talking about, you know, about learning the Dimebag stuff and how, you know, weird... Uh, Dimebag was riding his riff. What you would expect to hear. I got in a zip code with pretty much almost everything. Yep. But, and thank the good Lord for like uh, Attila and Ola and a bunch <laughs> of these younger kids on YouTube, you know? <laughs> so they could younger show me, kids? Yeah, I mean, like I they, all the homework stuff. Oh, they, 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 without a doubt. I mean, right? I was like, thank That's the funny. good Lord for the fellas, you know what yeah. I mean? So, <laughs> just, you know. What can I say? I'm incredibly flattered by this that he's mentioning me and Attila, obviously. Attila is amazing, holy shit. He was watching my videos when he was learning the Pantera songs. Uh, that just makes me really warm in my heart because obviously, you know, th these are these are legends I look look up to, you know? Uh, these young kids, though. 42-year-old kid, just saying. I'm, I'm fine with being called a kid, by the way. I am a kid. Ozzy Osbourne is planning to record a new album in 2024. Okay, last week, was it last week I told about, you know, Ozzy, he couldn't do it anymore. You know, he's do having his last surgery. But it seems that he wants to make a last album 
and uh, that he, he wants to tour, man. That's great news for us, but can he handle it, really? I'm feeling okay, it was just dragging on. I thought I'd be back on my feet months ago. I just couldn't get used to this mode of living. Constantly having something wrong, he said. I can't walk properly yet, but I'm not in any pain anymore. And the surgery on my spine went great. So maybe we're gonna see some more music from Aussie. And maybe he can come back and tour a little bit. And that has me really excited. I had tickets for the European show. Maybe he can... Yes. All right, I saw this the other day and it pissed me the f off. Okay, Motionless in White's drummer isn't happy. Someone brought a dog to the recent show. I saw this picture. I'm like, what the hell is this dog doing in the pit? Marad, in response to someone calling the dog owners cruel, I have trouble believing those headphones do anything at all for a dog. Leave your pet at home and don't go to the show in my humble opinion. Well, first of all, you know, a dog has very sensitive hearing in the first place. If you take it to a show, imagine how terrible that would be. Like if you're already overly sensitive in your hearing and you, you know, you get uh, exposed to 110 dB, it can't be good for any dog, man. Can't, I'm just saying. The American Kennel Club points out that softer sounds can be heard much louder by dogs than humans and are way more sensitive to higher pitches. They mentioned that humans cannot hear much above the uh, high frequency beyond 25,000 hertz, while dogs can hit somewhere here between 45, 47 to 65,000 hertz. So I hope the dog is okay. I definitely agree with the drummer of Motionless and White. And I also saw this because this also happened on Metallica show. Look at this. There's a dog sitting and listening to Metallica. And you know, even though everyone's like, oh, how cute is that? He's enjoying a Metallica show. It's, uh, yeah. A dog is not supposed to be exposed to loud noises like that. Okay? Good. All right, last but not least, very important news, everyone. I, f I saw this and I figured, you know, this is... This is the news I've been waiting for. Japanese guitar player removed his nipples as they interfered with his instrument playing. Let's read on. A Japanese guitarist is gaining attention for removing his nipples, <laughs> claiming that they interfered with his instrument playing. The Yomiuri Shimbun reported on September 21 that guitarist Maya 41 underwent nipple removal surgery last month. Oh my god, look at this. They became beggar. Or, no, that's just a band-aid. Men don't need nipples. But I guess that's true. This was not Maya's only strange action. Last June, he had a microchip implanted in his thumb. This microchip allows him to perform electronic payments, exchange SNS, SNS contact information, unlock his smartphone and more. However, he plans to move the microchip to his forehead because it's hindering his guitar playing. But of course, let's just bring a microchip to your forehead instead. Is he gonna do like contactless paying like this? Oh, bloop, or blip, or whatever the sound is. Blip. I guess, you know what, in Japan, they do bow a lot. So it's probably not that weird if you go to a grocery store to buy some apples, and you're like, oh, it's time to pay. Blip. The news. Album tips of the week. So on the death metal front, we've had a really, really good month, I must say. We had new cryptopsy. Uh, new Silosis, we have a new Cannibal Corpse album, and also a new Dying Fetus album. And uh, I was listening to this as I was going to the Guitar Summit this past week. And dude, it's freaking insane. And I absolutely love the production and the mix of this. It's mixed by Mark Lewis. Mark Lewis who did Feared Swatch, and he also did a Cannibal Corpse. He's done a lot, man. He does all the like the, the White Chapel stuff. And, uh, an incredible engineer. It's an incredibly solid album, and it really tickles my my fancy with the production and uh, the, the riffs, basically. I really hope that they're rolling through Stockholm soon to uh, to play live. If you ever seen Dying Fetus live, they're a trio, right? So you know, it's guitar, bass, uh, both of them sing, and then drums. It's insanely tight, just because they have this one rhythm guitar, and that's it. So, if, if I, I toured with them once, when I was in Six Feet Under, we toured with them. My first US tour with Six Feet Under was with Dying Fetus. And I got to see him every night, and it was absolutely batshit insane how tight that was. I can't wait to watch them live again. I really hope they swing by Sweden soon. Awesome album, make them beg for death. Let's go.
All right, Adventures with Ola. Today I'm going to show you a little bit and a little uh, segment from the trip I had to Guitar Summit last week, which is a, a music exhibition in Germany, in Mannheim, Germany. And I just want to disclaim before I show this that this was uh, a trip that was paid for by Guitar Summit. So, uh, you know, I played at this show before and they always ask me if I want to play and do clinics and whatnot. But I always like in the past years I've been like, nah, I, uh, I, I'm not really into doing clinics right now, but they really wanted me uh, to go there and uh, you know do my thing and be a part of it. And I know it's a good exhibition. So in the last minute, they asked me like, "Okay, we'll pay for your trip. Come here, please. We just want to have you here." So it's basically a sponsored thing. So just keep that in mind that I got this trip for free uh, just to go there and record uh, a vlog, basically. So this vlog is. It, it's sponsored, I guess, but you know how it is. I always say whatever I want anyways, and I'm gonna fart and I'm gonna burp and I'm gonna say the F word a hundred times. Here you go. Here's the Adventure with Ola for you right there. Hope you enjoy it. Ha. Adventures with Ola. Hello. I'm on my way to Germany today. Now I'm going to visit the Guitar Summit in Mannheim, uh, Germany, which is like a, a guitar enthusiast exhibition. And uh, I've actually done a clinic at this exhibition once. Uh, not sure how many years ago, maybe five or six years ago. So, uh, but this time I'm just going as a random, you know, peasant. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna be there. I don't have any obligations. I'm just gonna vlog a little bit and meet some uh, beautiful YouTube members. Also, maybe meet some artists or something. I don't know. I'm, yeah, check out some cool guitars and shit. I don't know. Let's go! Yay! <laughs> Very cool. Oh shit, yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. Hello. Hi, man. What's up? Hi. How you doing? I'm Hi. good. Hi. I'm good. Hi. Hi. I'm playing well. That's, this looks great. This looks great, yeah. So it's an all like uh, laser etched straw. No, that's a wooden mosaic that I. Uh, oh, you put it in from... for hand? Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, this is crazy. This yep. one done for one dead metal band. One did a guitar that looks like rotten flesh. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. This was yes. my take on it. Very cool. <laughs> awesome. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. I'm just walking around doing very quick before everyone, all the audience is here. Yeah. Just while it's quiet and calm. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Holy shit. There's so much crazy shit here, man. It's insane. I'm already super inspired and it's not even open yet. This compared to uh, like a NAMM show, it's just something completely different. It's just way more extreme. <laughs> Hi, I'm barging in. Hello. Hello. Is it okay if I sit in for like two, Is that two minutes? Not the most handsome man. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sorry guys. <laughs> How you doing? Good seeing you. So I'm really just thinking. But or Back to that chord. 
around six to seven months out. Dude, what, what the hell? What is this? I just want to, like, just, to, just for reference, this is my hand. So it's a really small base. Yeah. Don't be late for Ola on Sunday. No, 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 I'll be there, I promise. <laughs> we trust you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We trust in Ola. What the hell? That's a nice one. But why? Because it, <laughs> there's always it. something. Because yeah. we can do it. <laughs> because uh, yeah, why the not? Materials work really well on the low end. Like oh yeah, yeah. We really carry the nine string. So. Deswegen akzeptieren dann auch die Freundinnen den im Wohnzimmer. Take my money. Yes. Alright. Hello. That's whack. But this is an extra feature. <laughs> you, you remove this, okay? And then you put it like this, rock solid again. It won't move in any condition, which helps staying in tune when you are doing heavy tremolo job. So it's in tune again. And Very you impressive. can do everything, you know? And it, what, 60 seconds? 60 seconds. Wow. That's fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Shit too. <laughs> Shit too. Lit. Oh awesome. We were not drunk when we built it. That looks great. <laughs> oh shit, I like this. That's what I mean, we're not drunk when we built this. I didn't see that at first. Like, why is it not why is it not straight? That's what I want. Yeah. Like this is a gimbal. It's supposed to be straight. <laughs> Yours looks like a I'm just trying to get this work. Yeah, it's broken. <laughs> it's just spinning around, man. This is a combination, right? Yeah. These are my paying friends. Yes. All right. Nay, 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 nay. That doesn't have a head, CJ. Yeah. You can't put that. We are actually putting. Yeah, oh, you are. Okay, okay. We figured a way. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're canceling the laws of physics. <laughs> I'm a founding member. Um, we've been a band for about 24 years now. And we have nine albums. And uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys all probably know most of that information, but uh, I just wanted to introduce myself. All right, so I took a little break uh, from the whole show. It was uh, very intense. <laughs> so uh, it's, what is it now? I think it's like five o'clock and I'm gonna head down. We're gonna have a member meetup uh, in a second. So uh, I'm gonna meet some of my uh, members in a bit. So that, that that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, hallo. Member me <laughs> All right, so it's the uh, morning after the show day of Saturday. There's still going to be uh, another Sunday day today at the show, but uh, I'm leaving now in the morning. So I just had breakfast with Bill Kellier, by the way. Oh, flex. I'm going to try and sum up this uh, Guitar Summit exhibition. And uh, just from being here, you know, I was here the first year when they had their show and I did clinics and whatnot. Uh, and I haven't been here for a bunch of years now, and it's grown so much since the first time, and it's uh, it's really overwhelming. And to some extent, since everything's catered to uh, guitar playing and bass, and you know th that side of the whole music industry, I think I much more prefer this to them. To be honest, it's just way more focused. The uh, the people that attend are more focused on, you know, metal and rock, probably. I think the best part of it all is just seeing all the cool different brands that, uh, you know, smaller builders with whack-ass shit, you know. Uh, very inspiring to see. And then obviously some of the more expected brands. But, you know, however, there are none of the bigger brands here. It's basically a show for, as of right now, smaller brands. And uh, I, I like that. I like that. I would really want to see bigger brands be a part of this as well. But I think maybe this show will become too big uh, if that's the case. So uh, we'll see. I'm really hoping that Guitar Summit will grow, though, because it's it really is a, a, an excellent show run by, uh, you know, excellent bunch of people. It's a lot of fun, man. If you ever get a chance to go here, go here, check it out. And right now I'm waiting for the summit with Ola. It's about to start. So I'm sitting in for the premiere right now. And then I'm going to uh, catch a car to the airport and fly home, basically. And then you get to see this in the next summit with Ola. How about that? That's... <sighs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little segment and uh, smegment. And I'll see you very soon. <laughs> How about that? If you want to watch a longer version, because there's a, a 20 minute version of this vlog, it's over on my second channel. It's going to be out in a couple of days, okay? Thank you so much. All right, that has to be it for Sunday with Ola for today. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in, hopefully in the premiere. It's always nice to hang around with you guys and chat a little bit and give away a t shirt and whatnot. It's it's good fun every Sunday. Deku Smash Hell Mike is up on Spotify. I'll link it up here as well. You can pre order the Chug Project album number two uh, from olanglishop.com. It's released October 25th. Okay? So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you have a great Sunday. Goodbye. Ha! Sunday with Ola 156 trailer in this Sunday with Ola. We're talking about James Hetfield and he's cheating on the down picking. Rex Brown is talking how they started the conversations about the new Pantera tribute. Ozzy Osbourne is gonna record an album and it's probably gonna tour too. So I guess he's better. Also, there's a long ass vlog from the exhibition, the Guitar Summit in Mannheim, Germany. So this Swola is lit, man. Don't miss out. I'll see you there.